Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another Thrifty Thursday. <laughs> I can't wait to share with you what I got this week at the thrift store. Welcome back. So, as you know, I have fun every thrifty Thursday, and you just never know what I'm gonna find. But I really wanna share something that I got at the post office. So I got this book, and it's really interesting. I've been starting to read it, but I wanted to share with you what I got at the post office. A lot of times at the post office, I will get books from all of you, and I love books, because you know, garden seeds and books are something I really love. But I wanted to show you that. All right, let's get into what all I got. Now, I'm not sure what I spent. I gotta look on my, I gotta look on my receipt. So, here we go. These chalkboards were half off for 25 cents each because I love doing all kinds of projects outside with, in the fall, like I'll write on it, welcome to the autumn, and then I'll have all kinds of decorations. And Christmas, I'll say like, Welcome to our home, Christmas, and have it with a bunch of pine greens to decorate for Christmas. So for 25 cents, I got two of them. I have one, but it broke, and so it fell in the canning garage, which I'm sure you can understand that because I have so much stuff in there. Then I got this for 25 cents. Now, I'm gonna be using this for my herbs. I like having all kinds of material like this that I can use once and throw it away. So I'm gonna cut up little squares and I can use this as a replacement of cheesecloth. And so make sure I wash it good, but this will be perfect to do all kinds of straining of different herbs and things like that for 25 cents. And then I got these. So this was $2, but I love these clothespins. Now they look like the older ones my mama, I have her clothes pin bag and she's got the old ones because the ones you buy nowadays are really tiny and they don't, they're not very nice. But these look like the old fashioned ones. Now, I don't know if they are or not, but they are big ones. They're the really big ones. And for $2, and it's a lot of them in here and I'm always using clothes pins. Okay, so I can't wait to the winter time because I am, Super duper excited because I got these. Now, I don't know what these were used for. I know a lot of you do a lot of cooking and baking. I assume they're like, I don't know, because they're too shallow. But for 25 cents each, I got these to make tart warmers. <laughs> I know I have so much, but I don't have these. I know I really need to go into business, I know. And as of now, I'm just too busy with YouTube, but that's in the back of my mind is making candles and soaps to sell. I did do that one year and it, I sold out so quick. So we'll have to see in the future. But for 25 cents, I got these. And then I got this basket and it was half off. I love it. I have never seen a basket like this. Now you, you know what I'm gonna use this for. It's, a, it's amazing. It's amazing. Like, I don't know what it would be used for. Do you guys know what it would be used for? Straining something? I'm using it for my herbs. All right, I might make you dizzy with all this turning around, but I love baskets that are so unusual. That was unusual. What else did I get? Okay, so I got this. <laughs> now, this was a super duper deal, like seriously. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you how much it was. I'm gonna show you what it is. So a recipe keeper photo album, brand new, with the stickers and the paper and the protective sleeves and the dividers. What would you pay for? What would you pay for this? Now you know me, I'm real, okay, I say the word cheap, but people don't like that word. So you know me, I'm real frugal. Would you pay? Would you pay? 
one dollar for it i got it for a dollar i know i have a lot of notebooks but i'm going to probably consolidate them into this one dollar i couldn't i couldn't i couldn't pass it up like i don't know how much this would have been new but one dollar you you know it was worth that all right and then i got this for it was half off i don't have anything like this okay so one of my subscribers actually works at the thrift store and i don't know if she watches all of my videos i think she watches a lot of my thrift store ones she can testify to this but every week i've been going and i've been going through my books and then i've been donating some books that i know i'm not going to use sometimes i'll buy a book so for instance this book was 75 cents so sometimes i'll buy a book just to make a couple videos on it like working on a project and then it pays for the book plus extra and so if i'm done with it then i will donate back and they get double their money because they can sell it again but i thought this would be neat for in the fall and the winter time to make all kinds of all natural reads yeah i like this you guys watched me last fall when i did this and I don't have any books like that. Okay, and then one last thing. Okay, I did spend, I gotta see how much I spent because I can't remember right. Oh boy, I spent a whopping $9.78. As you all know, I take $10 with me. So I won't have no money for the next week extra. But that's okay, because I normally don't spend that much. Now this, you're gonna say, Tessie, that was a little much. I paid $1.99 for this kit. And it's for Christmas, but it's all these boxes. It's to put cookies in to have as a Christmas gift, but I'm gonna use it for my herbs. So, it comes with all of these, and it's a lot of them. I'm gonna put my herbs in here. See that cellophane? So I'm gonna put my herbs in here for gifts for Christmas time. Super excited about that. I know, I am so hyper. I, I just love, I love Thrifty Thursdays. I love showing with you guys everything I got. I just really am enjoying everything. <laughs> I'm enjoying everything in life, you know? Um, I had on my mind for six months about having to speak in front of a large crowd of over 200 people. If you missed that video, I'm gonna share at the end of this one. And after that was over with, it was just like so much was off my shoulders. Will I do any public speaking again other than, you know, YouTube and the camera? We'll see. I have something else that's maybe in the works that I might do. I don't know yet, but it's really nice to have that check mark off, something that I have been waiting to have to do for a long time. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this Thrifty Thursday. I love show and tell, and I love watching other people's Thrifty Thursdays because it's so much fun to see what you can get at the thrift store, and I am deeply blessed with the thrift store that I have, that it's as cheap as it is, and it's things that I like. Because most of these boutiques now have things that I would not be interested in at all. So it's nice that I live in a community where they're plainer and the plain people have things that I like. This thrift store seems to get a lot of older people. I know the generation's dying up, but you know what? I have so much stuff that when people start donating my stuff, we'll fill up those shelves again with some old fashioned things. And I'm really surprised most of you who watch my videos love the kind of things that I get. So I guess if we would all load up in a bus and go together, I'm guessing we would have to fight for some of this stuff. <laughs> Nah, I wouldn't fight with you. I'd give it to you all. <laughs> Take care, everyone. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody.